Brothers and sisters, before we continue, can we all smile? You know, what you saw on screen, or what you can see on screen, is one of the most significant stories that we can find in the Bible. It's when Jesus feeds the 5,000. You know, there's this circulating theory about the story, suggesting a more natural explanation to that miracle. It said that what really happened, those people actually have food with them. It's just that they were afraid to share or maybe they don't want to share at all. So, the moment when they saw the boy offered his loaves and bread, of, and loaves of bread and fish, it somehow triggered everyone and made them share as well. So, what happened is that all of them, they took out their, what they have and the, everyone had a share. You know, this theory, it somehow suggests a more human way of understanding. To most of us, it gives a more, you know, relatable way of understanding or explaining the story. But you know what? There's actually a problem in there. Because you know, sometimes we rely too much on the natural explanation of things, of miracle. Too much that it has become our belief. When we do this, we tend to, you know, sway away from the divinity of Jesus. And this is, has been the reality of us, you know, Catholics of today. We are not giving enough faith to God to do His miracle or to see miracle. What happened, brothers and sisters, is that they were simply hungry because they have no food, and that's it. What Jesus did, it was an actual miracle. It was the first hint of the Holy Eucharist. The truth is, you know, us, the people of God, we are not just natural. There is a part of us that's supernatural. Because deep down inside our hearts, God's divinity is written within us. You know, brothers and sisters, the hard part is not waiting for a miracle. It is a believing in miracle you know we are a church who believes in the miraculous for us to achieve the impossible we must believe in miracles and going back to the story you know look at the boy you know he offered what little he has and clearly it wasn't enough for five thousand but he offered he offered not because he wants to trigger everyone to give as well. He offered because in that little thing he has, he knows and he believes that God can make big things out of those. Brothers and sisters, in the smallest things you can give and share, God can make big miracles out of those. Can you stand up once again? You know, brothers and sisters, as we walk through the mission of the church, we give whatever we have, no matter how small it is. Let us take part and share. In brokenness, we will experience Christ. In sacrifice, we will experience Christ. And share in His passion and death. And so we continue to shout to the world that we are not afraid. And we will declare in every day of our lives. Come on, let's continue to worship. Let's raise your hands, brothers and sisters. Together tonight, we declare. We shout of God is great. You're my 